Today we have legendary rapper, but also the owner and founder of the Big Three, Ice Cube, to talk about three-on-three basketball and what's going on in the Olympics. But before anything, Ice Cube, I want to ask you, uh, you know, you're on tour right now. You have all this going on. How are you doing? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. You know, it's, uh, I'm right where I want to be. Uh, we got a show tonight in uh, Oklahoma City, a uh, show tomorrow night in, um, in San Antonio. So we having fun. You having fun and all of this is going on right now. So obviously we're here to talk about uh, the big three as well as, you know, kind of in the involvement with what's going on with the men's uh, USA 3x3 basketball team. I'll, I'll ask you first straight up, what's been your reaction to kind of watching this team? and their performance in the Olympics? Well, I want to just start off by congratulating them because they did win the game today, uh, from what I understand. But, um, you know, I just know from my vantage point, um, those are some good players, but they're not the best that we have to offer in three-on-three. Three. And so, um, you know, to me, when you go to the Olympics, you want to put your best foot forward, and we're not. So to me, that's an issue because they have dropped three or four games before winning one. And um, I think it's unacceptable to most you know, people here uh, in the U.S. us losing basketball games when we don't have to. Exactly. Um so you were just on the Pat McAfee show. You, you know, given that you've just seen um, what's been going on with the USA basketball team losing those games to start off, um, you issued a challenge to the winner, the gold medal winner. Can you tell me those details? Yeah, we, we think, you know, it's only right if the gold medal winners uh, come and play the big three all-stars uh, and see who's the best in the world. Uh, Pat McAfee put up a hundred thousand um, dollars. You know we're gonna put some money on top of that, fly him in, and uh, put him up. And you know we could do this August eighteenth, right before our championship game. It's on CBS. The whole world can watch. And um, I think it's fun. It's friendly. It's a friendly competition. You know they have friendlies in soccer all the time so this is our version of a friendly you know we we want to call it the big cup though because we feel like uh it's a big deal you think that um if you know there's i, I don't think it's it's out of the question yet for usa basketball to somehow get that gold is is that offer there too if it's usa basketball that does somehow get it any any team that wins the gold we believe we got the best three-on-three three players in the world, and we don't think it's close. I, um, of course, if you have the best USA basketball players in the world, um, I want to ask from there. You know, what's why aren't the players in Big Three being considered uh, to be the ones participating for USA basketball in the Olympics? Well, I think you know there's a lot of politics involved when it comes to USA basketball. Uh, you know, we saw what went down with Jalen Brown. And I think that, you know, reverberates a little bit when it comes to uh, the big three. And, you know, the same people who, who run the NBA have a lot of, uh, a lot of power and say so when it comes to USA basketball. And so I think these people uh, have a personal uh, reason to not, you know, grab our players. And this has nothing to do with winning a gold medal. And I think it should be all about winning a gold medal and personal grudges and personal um, things should be set aside when it comes to, to the Olympics. So, you know, speaking on those personal grudges and those other things that you want to set aside, would you have you had conversations with USA Basketball? And also, are you open to conversations with USA Basketball? 
Yeah, we've talked to USA Basketball uh, before the 2020 Olympics when um, when the USA didn't even qualify to play. So uh, we were talking to them before that saying, um, you know, you guys should consider using our players. And they were talking this point stuff and they have to have so many points and FIBA and blah, 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 blah. But they don't, they don't, they don't make the NBA players do the points, you know. So why should they make our professional players do the points? Um, we're not amateurs um, in the big three. So at the end of the day, it's just it don't make crazy man sense, as my friend would say. Uh, why we're not? winning and dominating you know our our worst team would dominate um whoever wins this gold medal you know speaking of those requirements obviously like you said they're not going to be paid or in, in the same way and these are professionals um but have you spoken to any players or, or coaches you, you have some legendary you know coaches some former you know long time all-stars in the nba have you spoken to them about what their thoughts are about potentially you know, making that team down the line. They want to go. They want to represent. We have, you know, several great players that would love to uh, to represent the U.S. and um, win a medal, gold medal, and you know, um, you know, make their family and country proud. Yeah, we, are, you know, probably every last one of them would want to do it. Yeah. Um, just one final thing, you know, there, there are people who are going to say, Hey, you know, you're not, you, you guys play a different sport. Uh, it's like kind of a different format um, or other naysayers who are going to, you know, say other things uh, to that, to that extent, you know, maybe, you know, the team's still not going to be as good, all of that. What would you kind of say to any of the doubters um, for, for claims that you guys would win the gold on, on any team? We'll play any style, whatever y'all want to do, and I guarantee you we'll win. Uh, let's 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 stop the talk and do it on the court. You know we got a challenge out there. Um, once we see who wins the gold medal, we'll be more specific in our challenge, and we'll see if they accept it. You know, it's just basketball. Like, what do we have to lose? It's been interesting to be able to see the big three grow as well. Uh, and then with this 3x3 basketball. So we appreciate you taking the time to talk to us and, and iron out these details. And we look forward to seeing, you know, when those details are more ironed out and hearing that from you guys. Um, so appreciate you coming on. Anytime, man. Thanks.